Good morning everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, we got a cold snap, a cold storm that went through and got some snow and it's really difficult to go from like 90 degrees to 32 degrees in like just a few hours. It's and then by this weekend it's supposed to be back up into the 80s and the next week maybe even the 90s. New Mexico. Okay, um, I want to thank the Pimo very much. I'm not going to mention their name because I wouldn't want to out them, but thank you very much for sending me the link to the circuit assembly videos. So now we have the 2021 circuit assembly videos. So thank you very much. And I want to thank everybody so much, you know, for. Um, the information you have been sending in articles and um, I've got one here too now when I was looking for um, a court case from several months ago in Montana I've been looking for the court documents for one of them I came across this this happened to pop up and this is new we haven't heard this one yet this is the Casper Wyoming K2 radio. Um, I'm going to put the link down below and I'm going to read this. Message to Watchtower. The problem is, is when you lie to everybody and say that your elders report child abuse now to the authorities, that there are still some honest and honest hearted elders and rank and file members that believe this and they don't want to be liars and so what do they do oh well we report child abuse now to the authorities so guess what they call the authorities and from the way this is worded, I'm going to say this was probably an elder. I'm going to read this. Prosecutors say that a Casper area Jehovah's Witness ministerial servant sexually abused a 16-year-old girl. Michael Allen Mayer is facing two counts of third-degree sexual abuse of a minor. If convicted, he could face up to 15 years behind bars. Documents filed in Natrona County District Court state that he was a ministerial servant for a Casper area Jehovah's Witness congregation at the time of the alleged offense. According to the Jehovah's Witness website, ministerial servants assist the church's elders. And we all know that that's true. Ministerial servants are elders in training. And they're given responsibilities in the congregation, which many of them include interaction with children. You know, because I know when Mike was a ministerial servant, you know, there was a single mom that asked him to study with her son. So, you know, they're used in this capacity to interact with children. They often take leadership roles within the church. Exactly. They give talks. You know, they used to give talks on the ministry school back when they had that. So, yeah. Attempts to reach out to Jehovah's Witnesses in Casper are unsuccessful. Of course, because they're going to deny this. They're going to deny that he wasn't a Jehovah Witness. It didn't happen. Now, we all know this. According to an affidavit of probable cause, a Casper police officer took a sex offense report via telephone on August 18th. The caller report, reportedly told police that he had a meeting at the Jehovah's Witnesses Church Kingdom Hall on August 17th. During that meeting, this is the sentence that makes me think this was an elder who did the right thing. During that meeting, it was disclosed that Mayor had sexual intercourse with a 16-year-old girl court document state. So I'm thinking it was a judicial hearing or an elders meeting. The affidavit states that the 16 year old had sex with Mayor at his office at the Bureau of Reclamation and Mills. A 
A Casper police detective called Mir, who allegedly said, I wound up having sexual relations with um, a friend of ours, the affidavit states, but the one I had sex with was 15. The affidavit alleges Mir went on to say, the bad part about it is, I wouldn't say bad part, but the part about it is she's more of a daughter to me. Really? That's the bad part? Yeah, that is bad. It's really bad. But the really bad part would be that she's underage. Yeah, and that you think of her as a daughter. And where's a guilty conscience? <laughs> wow. Charging documents describe Mirror and the girl having explicit communications over video chatting applications such as Zoom. So do you see how Jehovah's Witnesses are using the Zoom? Court documents state the girl told the forensic investigator that she and Mirror had sex on multiple occasions including at his place of employment. That should get him fired. The girl further told investigators that she viewed Mayor as a father figure and mentor, court documents state. See, mentor because he has a responsibility in the congregation. And all members are told, you know, to trust these brothers who are taking the lead. Well, that would include ministerial servants, too. Mayor has not had an opportunity to enter pleas to the charges. He will get the chance during an upcoming arraignment in Natrona County District Court. So, we'll be looking for those court documents. And I do know that the state of Wyoming has changed their laws on child abuse um, ever since the $35 million watchtower lawsuit they've changed laws since then and that's why that particular case was refiled now I am on the RAINN.org website here and they have a PDF for the Montana mandatory reporting requir requirements regarding children who must report and I'm gonna skip down to the third from the last here a member of the clergy See, and that would include elders. If Watchtower wants to claim that elders are acting in a clergy capacity on hearing these confidential confessions of perpetrators, then they are clergy when it comes to reporting. You see, you can't have your cake and eat it too, Watchtower. It's either they are clergy or they're not. You can't claim they're clergy in a court case when you're trying to win and then say, oh, well, they're not clergy and they're not required to report. Can't have it both ways. And the standard of knowledge is knowledge or reasonable cause to suspect that a child is being abused or neglected. So it sounds like there was a judicial hearing going on in the Kingdom Hall and then the next day this elder called the authorities. I love it. I love it because that is what he's supposed to do. Not call the legal department and watchtower and have them explain to them how they shouldn't have to report and they don't need to report. So this elder, kudos to you, our hero, because this is what they are supposed to be doing. In watchtower, there are more PMO elders than you have any idea and you don't know where they are, who they are, in any of these confessions or judicial hearings, they're going to be reporting it to the police. So, this is great. This is great. So I'm going to put the link down below to this article. So if any of you would like to see an early morning um, visitor for breakfast that we had, stay tuned after I say goodbye because it was really sweet. The video I got um, was actually much longer. Um, he was just eating his breakfast and it's probably about 20 feet from the bedroom window. 
So I was looking out the window, you know, getting the video, but love it. Absolutely love it. And then he just trotted off on his own merry way, and he was actually back just the other morning. And now we've got two does that are showing up to eat because, you know, it's a really nice green spot where they're grazing. So this was really cool. So you all have a wonderful day. Bye.